I'm gonna use a kick as baseline. So let's make a super simple pattern with this kick. Let's say we're gonna do this. Sounds super weird right now. Of course, it needs a little bit more swing. So we're gonna apply a logic swing. Let's say we're gonna use this one. It pops up over here right now. And then with this, we can control how much of the swing we want. And you hear this little glitch over here. That's because we don't apply the groove on the kick yet, on the normal kick. But right now it has to be good. And of course it sounds super weird. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna filter out all the high frequencies because we don't need the high frequencies in this case. We only want to have these super low frequencies. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna sidechain the audio from the normal kick to this kick. And then you get what this sounds like. And I think it sounds better if we put it a few notes down. This might be a little bit too low. Yeah, I like this. I think this sounds good. Of course, it needs a lot of mixing because it sounds a little bit thin, I think. So let's add a drum bus to spice it up a little bit. A little bit more subtle. And let's try to use the kick tweak on the normal kick. I once saw Chris Lake using it, this plugin, and since then I've never stopped using it. It's super nice. Bunch of presets over here. Add so much body and beef to the kick. 